chickens are curious. I thought cats were the ones that were curious. It's amazing, like a day at the zoo. Inside the fence and outside the fence. Today Rico's helping me out. We're getting the OSB on the on the walls of the bathroom. So everything's going really well. You see a little bit of plumbing we did too. I can't believe we're getting this much done in one day. We're gonna put in a window. It's getting kind of dark in there, so we're putting in a window right here. We're about to wrap it with this old house wrap that I saved. framing up the shower area here to get ready to put some siding on it. There's the inside. It's a whole lot done in one day. Burning up a lot of scraps, but we're pretty efficient. These scraps are pretty small. We're saving, we're saving those boards. They'll be useful for something. We're out here with our friends watching their daughter do some horseback riding. It's a beautiful farm. It's so nice that they have this canopy for the observers. And with the rain, it's making a wonderful sound. This is Claire out here taking pictures for her friend. Time to work on projects here but I did get the floor painted so now that that's painted I'll be able to put in the toilet and the sink and stuff we just need to let it dry it needs to be 24 hours before a second coat and I think maybe 48 hours for light traffic maybe 24 hours for light traffic and 72 hours for normal traffic and then before the sun goes down, I'm going to try to put up a couple of these roof panels, get a little bit further along. Tomorrow I can go pick up all the rest of the roofing. You can see the sun is 
going down. The sun doesn't go down over here, but the sky is gorgeous. So here's how far we've gotten so far. There's the window with the trim around it so we can now start putting siding on. The uh, shower area, we've got it kind of boxed in, framed in. These, uh, these pieces are all gonna have siding attached on them this way and all the siding will be facing the inside so it'll look really nice on the inside and we're not as worried about the outside because anybody standing out in the woods would see the outside the outside is not going to look bad here's the door to the bathroom which the opening is a little too short so i'm gonna have to cut my door down for it to fit the the opening but then i've decided as you come in to the shower sort of dressing area here that i'm gonna have a little roof I'm going to extend this roof a little bit here so then you'll have a little dry spot uh, if it's raining or something we could put maybe put a shelf and keep um i don't know you know if you're hanging a towel and then it rains that day or something it'll it'll be underneath a little dry area because potentially you could take a shower in the rain <laughs> but I'm gonna have to stop this right now and work on getting the roof corners done. So you can see we've got all this left to do and that's some of this straight area. Here's where I put in, put on the panels last night and I just picked up, there's a trailer with all the new roofing on it and so I'm about to start putting that on. Got all kinds of different sizes here. So I'm unstacking them. They have a little piece of fabric at the edge of each one because they scratch each other kind of easily. This is my drawing of all the different pieces that I have and all their different sizes. <laughs> and I'm just trying to lay everything out where I can get to each one that I want at the time that I want it. So I think I just now got down to the ones that'll, that'll finish out this section right here. Camera was helping again today, helping cutting all these angles. 
So this side is done, except for the flashing, which will go on after the siding is on. And then this side is underway, partway done. Just a couple more pieces to the corner here. And then that whole side. Last night I was working on the sauna, so I got the all the walls done and the ceiling. And then I'll put a little bit of a little bit of trim up there at the top where there's a gap. And of course I had done the insulation on this wall. These, I just put some tar paper. I need to put a little bit here. And that's covering most of my gaps. So when I put in my insulation, I've already said it before, but you won't be seeing pink in the cracks. You'll just see these black lines. You know, I don't think that one's gonna show enough pink to really see it. <laughs> so it's looking good. I just gotta put this front wall on where I'm gonna have a door, figure all that out. And that'll be, well, put on the front wall, finish the insulation, and then that one's done. This is where I come to get my lumber. I'm here at the sawmill. They got a little bit of hay stored up in that building. He's going up there to get what I need and I just stay down here. And they bring it to me reception person <laughs> it looks rough but when you start pulling it off the stacks then I get all that lumber that I've been building everything out of